It says here in verse 6, So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, there we go, food again, lust of the flesh, that it was pleasant to the eyes. You know what that is, the lust of the eyes. And desirable to make one wise. Now, of course, this is not the wisdom according to God, per se. You could say carnal wisdom. This would be pride. So it was through the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life that sin came into the world. One could argue, I'm just saying, one could argue that we see the opposite on the cross. One of the quote-unquote names of Yeshua is the first fruit. I believe it was Paul who called the cross a tree. We have in Genesis, Eve, she took the fruit off the tree, but the story of the crucifixion is putting the fruit back up on the tree. And just like how the serpent was calling the fruit down off the tree in in Eve's day, apparently he was calling the fruit down off the tree in Yeshua's day when he was up on the cross. He certainly wasn't an object of the lust of the flesh because he was torn apart. He was beaten brutally. He wasn't an object of the lust of the flesh or the lust of the eyes. But then you might say, what about the pride of life? For wisdom, Eve took the fruit off the tree. But according to Acts chapter 3, it was because of the ignorance of the rulers of Israel that he was put back up on the tree, so to speak. 